Hi guys, uh, in this video uh, we'll try to provide a solution to one of uh, my subscribers uh, who has actually written this email that hi Ajit this is my first email to you and I hope it will not go unnoticed definitely I want to write a code which can export all my file names located in some folder in Excel will you please help on this your subscriber Mark alright so Mark actually He's looking for a VBA code which can, uh, if I click on some button or maybe, you know, I run some shortcut key, then uh, let's say we have a folder here D drive, like I have a folder here D drive and under this folder, uh, I have these files. So he's looking for a VBA code which can actually export all these file names, whether they are the text files, whether they are the Excel files, CSV files, whatever, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll try to prepare this code and uh, let's see that how we can actually achieve this. So in this case, uh, I have this workbook already opened. This is a new workbook and uh, we'll go to the developer mode, Visual Basic and uh, there I'll create a module. Uh, go to the insert and module and here I'm going to create uh, this code for you. So before I go further i just would like to tell you that what exactly we are going to do here so whenever you de whenever you actually are going to deal with the you know folders or the files you have to use a uh, a library which is called the file system object i would say it's a class actually which we actually are going to use and this class is uh, uh, you know provided by the microsoft so that we can actually access you know folders subfolders and we can retrieve their uh, files you know uh, which are located in uh, within those locations whether it's a C drive D drive doesn't really matter and you can even copy the folders for the text files you know from one place to the another you can move them so you can do a lot of stuff so before you do that you need to actually go to the tools library because what I'm going to do is I'm again going to use the uh, early binding method which means that this code cannot be run on a machine where this library you know the reference is not going to be activated so you have to tell while distributing this code to the user that they should ensure that in this tools library this microsoft scripting runtime this should be checked right so since i had developed this code in the past so that's why it you saw that you know it was already activated but in your case this is not going to be seen here so what you need to do is you need to press m and then go to you know to this uh, microsoft and then try to find it out this uh, this library which i have shown you here this one microsoft scripting runtime so once this library is on right we can actually start going uh, start we can start the preparing the code and this is how you will actually write the code so let's go here and let me just name this sub as extract files okay and so the very first thing which I'm going to use is I'm going to use some variable any variable so let's say uh, I'll declare this as FSO as file system object now this is the library which I was actually the class which I was talking about this will not appear here if you will not have this option on in your system right the moment I uncheck this this will not be visible to you so you really have to on this option now you need to use the set word because this is the object so I'll write here file system object this will ensure that you know we have this variable uh, you know uh, recorded in your this uh, computer's memory uh, it is going to allocate some space to this variable FSO uh, and in fact it is not a variable now it is an object because you have defined this uh, you have given this refer to this as a file system object class and whenever you define any you know uh, object as a class you always you have to use the set word right so the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a folder as again a folder class and uh, so we'll declare here the folder as set word folder equals to now we'll go to this FSO object because it has a file system object class so I can retrieve that and you'll write here get folder give me the folder and uh, so let me go back to my this folder which is D and then in the D drive I have a folder ME me and then uh, inside that ME folder I have another folder which is called the my folder and inside that you know I have all these text files so I have just copied this and I'm going to paste it here within the code right so this is how you can set this folder that I'm going to deal with this folder and the path of the folder is this one right all right 
so now the next thing which you want to do is you want to run a loop and for that I will declare this uh, let's say my file another object as file and uh, now you have to run a loop which is called for each my file in fol.files which means that all the files you know inside this folder which is fol and you know that we have already defined this folder as you know the address of this this d drive and then under the d drive we have a fo folder me and then there is another folder my fo yeah, my fol right so we have to run this loop uh, every time for each file in files this is how you read this is a collection loop right you have a lot of collection loops and in case if you are looking for some understanding on the collection loops you can do one thing you can go and check my this youtube channel you have a lot of uh, playlist here i have created the playlist for you guys um, according to the subject so there you have uh, a playlist which uh, we have named as collection loops or i think it's actually loops uh, i can show you uh, you just go to this yeah so this is exactly where we you know I'm, I'm talking about this is called the VBA loops examples so we have already up, up, uploaded eight videos over here so go and watch that and it will clear you clear the concept and in case you can even go to my website excel VBA lover.com and over here you can go in the VBA training and video tutorial if you're not able to see this drop down then please ensure that you are using the latest Internet Explorer however in Google Chrome it works very fine so here you have all the VBA video tutorials and there are like 40 videos I guess uh, so you can check this collection loop here right I have already uploaded two videos for you so you can even get the more clarity on this once you through with this video so collection loop is a loop which actually designed by uh, you know in a VBA and you really don't have to work much on that so this code will run and this will give me all the files so I can show you if I we can even extract the name of these files uh, text files CSV files uh, Excel files whatever we have uh, just by using this command right so let me just run this and before that let's have a quick look that what all files we are having under this folder so I have two text files and then ABCD these are the Excel files so let's quickly run this and let's see whether this code is going to work Wow it has worked as you can see so I have all the files two text file and this is going to be my second excel file this is third and this is four and now it should finish right so that's it the code is working now instead of now having this message box we actually uh, mark has said that he is looking you know uh, he wants a code which can export all these file names in the excel right so i'm assuming that maybe on this worksheet you want them to be exported so the sheet name is list so list uh, let us declare some more objects here so I'm going to say that dim WB as this workbook and this is how you will set up this workbook so that you know the code should work when when this code should work it always refers to this workbook where uh, in this module you know we have written this code and similarly you have to declare a worksheet so I'm going to declare this as WS W is my choice you can write even your name or anything you know you want to refer to the worksheet so I'm going to write here and this is how I will write my code WB and the worksheet in my worksheet the name of the sheet is list so this is how I'm going to define this so that's the code for us and instead of now this message box what I'm going to do is uh, let's start with the uh, row number row number is another variable which I will define the column will remain same so this is how we are going to prepare this code dot name right and uh, row number definitely we want this to be incremented by one so that it goes to the next row and it prints the value there so this is how your code is prepared and uh, we have to let me just do some indenting intending is a very important guys because you know then uh, you can actually let me just pause this video for a while because I have this uh, battery going off give me a second so we have to uh, declare this variable as well so let me define the variable here dim row number as integer and the first row which we want to set up is the row number equals to 1 right so now we can run this I can just quickly run this and let's see what will happen 
variable not defined all right so i'm sorry it's a spelling mistake actually so just remove this and yeah now let's just run this so there we go now let's come back to excel and there you go you can see all the contents over here so let me just delete this and let me show you step by step uh, let's just set this okay and uh, let me just increase the uh, height of this code as well so that we can see the entire code right now let's run this f8 so there you go uh, everything is set up now we have got the folder now this loop will run so let's see what will happen this in this row number this is my first row number and we have already defined in the upper code that my sh sheet is going to be list as you can see here that i have uh, declared you know that set ws equals to this workbook dot worksheet list so that's why it is going to display in this sheet so now let's just run this now you see that this is the file name which is printed and my first file name is one dot txt right so this is what exactly is happening now the row number is incremented so this time this will be on the row number two and the column as we have already declared this the constant is a one so everything will be printed on the column a so run this and this is how you will get all the sheet names and then finally enter right so this is how um, you can prepare this code and of course you can create a macro as well uh, the button as well for this so just go to the insert shape and use any shape which you want and uh, so here i have created the button i'll just right click on it extract files just press ok and now let me just delete this and run this so this is how you will get all your files back right and if i let's say copy this now we have so many files here as you can see I have copied this now if i run this code we should actually get all these files so this is how you know you'll get all your files so i hope mark this uh, this really um, you know helps you in building your code and in case if you have any anything else uh, please uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'll go ahead and upload the video on same. So thank you so much guys for your continued support and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and uh, if you're looking for some training, online training be it Excel or uh, MS Access or VBA just you can check all the details in this my website Excel training, the training course and the VBA training in the VBA training I have all the training courses available for you apart from the video tutorials. So I'll come up with some more interesting stuff until then take care and very happy learning thank you bye bye